Hello, beloveds. It's your girl, Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mi amores. Thank you so much for watching. I am Clementine Chloe. I read cards, energy, and people to fill. Oh, and this is your spirit seat, okay? Psychic guidance. If you need to know what the hell going on, what spirit, angels, your ancestors, Yo, dad, want to shoot it now, okay? Now, mira, if this message resonates with you, please comment. You can holla at your girl. Tip, I appreciate the energy exchange. You can buy me a coffee. The link is in the bio. Um, Thank you guys so much for rocking with me, yo. Like, I'm so happy I have a new moon glow because, like, the Reiki for the Patreons was bomb. Shout out to everyone who joined the Patreon, the beloved coven. Thank you guys so much for joining, okay? So that was lit. Then the fiery roll protection potion show out. Holler back at you, boo. Pero I do still have my OG protection potion. Okay, I conjured a new batch last night. Okay, a few new bitches. Okay, I was thick in the protection energy. Also created my protection cleanse. Okay, this is my go-to. Like at the end of the week. Okay, for an auric reset. Okay, this is one pound of salt. Like for me, like I like to put like a lot of salt. Okay, I like to put a lot of salt. It's already blessed. Okay, herbs, oils. Okay, I add magic oils and essential oils as well to this. So that means some of my magical potions as well. I'm adding into this herbs as well, blessed as well you can get both of them together as a protection pack that was both plus under the new moon okay you can get that this week now let's get into the messages okay i want to know spirit spill the tea what's popping okay what is popping spirit okay so you go to big empress energy llc to cop the botanica goodies or get a reading by me okay you know you need a reading okay you know you need a reading Okay, spirit guides, I'm calling upon the masters. Teachers in love with them. Every single body. What does every single body need to know for the highest and best could I say? Listen, you feeling stuck. I feel like y'all holding yourself back. This reminds me because when I was doing the Reiki last night, I had a, a lot of downloads and it's on my phone. Um, you holding yourself back. Why are you holding yourself back? It's you. It's your mindset. It's the way you looking at things. It's your perspective. I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm itching to say you got it all effed up right now. You're looking at things or you're looking at things the wrong way or you're, you're not looking at it from the perspective. I want you to tell your ego it can go. I want you to tell your ego it can go because I feel like it's your ego holding you stuck. Maybe in, in something that's comfortable or maybe you're used to being uncomfortable. Chaos is your routine. So you're used to it. I'm also seeing here other cards that flew off the deck with a vengeance. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Nine of Swords, okay? So yeah, it's in your mind. It's in your mental, okay? Now, this could also be somebody else trying to make you feel stuck, someone trying to manipulate you emotionally. Now, it could be a lover. We do have the Lover's card and the Four of Wands, so it could be someone you're super close to, someone that's like kin to you, being a little bit manipulative, making you feel a certain type of way. <laughs> Don't regret I want you not to regret because that's this energy here. It's like regretting a choice that you made, okay? Um, and it's like there's no wasted time. Or maybe you made, you feel like you made the wrong decision in terms of a lover, in terms of a job, in terms of something, okay? Because I'm feeling like this is a lot of regret. Maybe it was hasty action, swift action. You moved too fast. You didn't see where you were going, okay? And now it's kind of like a blooper effect, okay? Um... Just like, oh, like, did I do that? Steve Irk, like, did I do that? Oh my God. I can't, I cannot bear to look at this, okay? Because it's like you're not even seeing it, okay? We have the hang one, so it's important for you to change your perspective in the way that you're looking at something. Maybe looking looking at it through a more loving lens. We do have the lover's card in the reverse. This is connecting us with Gemini energy, okay? The hanged one is connecting us with Pisces energy, can be anybody. And we're also seeing the four of wands. So I feel like this is saying to like get out if you can, um, you know, on a socially distant walk. And because this is the fact that like, yeah, you too much in your heads and you need to make in some time for play. You need to be silly. You need to, 
you know, let yourself enjoy things, okay? You might be taking shit too seriously. You t too shit is weighing too heavily on your mind. You're taking it too seriously, okay? We do have the eight and the nine of swords. Um... With the lover's card in the reverse, also, like, it's, like, don't be selfish. Maybe you need to compromise with, with a partner, someone you know. Um, You need to be more, more like, com comparable. Okay, also, some people, like, you not getting over someone as fast as you wanted to. Okay, you're not getting over them as fast as you wanted to. Think about them from a different perspective. Think about, you know, all the qualities, too, that maybe you ain't like. Maybe you ain't like you know, the way that they smacked their lips when they ate cereal, okay? Maybe you didn't like, you know, the fact that they took 30 minutes to text you back. Look at that stuff different, okay? Look at it something different, like you also made way or you're making room for the right lover, the right people in your life. Don't make swift decisions. At this point, if you need to make a decision, this is not the time to fucking make the decision. This is the time to uh, suspend any action. Don't rush to, to do anything, okay? Really think about things, I feel like. Because um, you might be rushing to make a decision out of fear, okay? And you, you need to flow with the faith, okay? The lover's card, you need to flow with the faith because we do have the angels here as well, okay? The angels protecting you. People need to communicate, okay? I feel like people are holding back a lot, holding back a lot. This is a constant message. Some like holding back, people holding their tongue. Open up that throat chakra, child. Okay, you don't use it, you gonna lose it. You need to vocalize something. Maybe there's a story you need to write. Maybe, you know, there's someone you need to make amends to, make a connection with, okay? Because I'm seeing the lovers, forgiveness. Could be a Gemini also trying to emotionally manipulate you. Freaking damn Geminis. What you're not seeing? What are you not seeing? What are you not seeing? The vow. So you've made a commitment. You made a commitment to something. Maybe it's being tested. Okay, you made a commitment, um, a lover's, okay, a contract to something, and you're feeling bound by it, okay? Could be, we also have the box and the bridge. Ooh, this reminded me um, yesterday, PCL, I kept talking about a rainbow bridge, okay, the bridge. So I feel like this is reaching out with love, with compassion to um, people in your life that you do have a lifetime commitment with, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be a partner. This could be your mama, your daddy, your, your baby, your baby daddy, okay? Someone you have a lifetime commitment with, okay? Someone you, you have a soul bond, a soul tie to them, and maybe they made you feel a type of way, okay? And you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like this person really gets on your nerves nerves they get under your skin they know how to get you right um and i'm feeling like with this energy it's like thinking about it from a different perspective it's interesting we have the cave and the box okay this is making me think of like secluded time so maybe you need some secluded time time alone time to create okay um we also have the bridge and then with that time when you're rejuvenating yourself you can't pour from an empty cup you can Bring the two worlds together, okay? That means offering something, okay? Offering some sort of sweetness. Say, like, let's go out um, on a walk. I'm going to cook you dinner. Um, Whatever it is, okay? I feel like people need to work on their relationships, work on their soul ties, okay? Maybe in the heat of, you know, a lot of issues, a lot of tension, okay? People could have said things that they don't mean, and that could also be haunting you, okay? As well drunk drunk uh comments people say it's like that's how they really feel that could be another thing something someone said when they was drunk when they was feeling a little bit too good but i feel like with this energy it's like make a commitment okay make a commitment a bridge i feel like there needs to be some sort of unionizing some sort of harmonizing okay some sort of uh we're better together okay because you guys are carrying a burden and you need to release it. This is what's blocking you. An, a bur I feel like it's an emotional burden. Okay, a burden, you guys. It's a mental burden. It's weighing heavily on your mind. An emotional release. Maybe you need to cry it out. Maybe you need to journal it. Maybe you need to talk to somebody. Maybe, you you know, there's other. There's a lot of ways which you can release it. Okay, right now, most notably, I'm seeing tears. Okay, <laughs> um... 
there's a lot of tension okay you might even need to release it by you know by by shaking a little something okay by twerking by moving because it's like i feel like you're just so stuck you need to do something different you need to do something that's going to shake 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 it up okay yeah Mm -hmm. to release and get rid of any bad old like any bad like juju okay so i feel like if you are in a conflict with somebody take some time to get some perspective and um and realize your commitment that you do have with people celebrate the good times that you do have okay and look i pulled a card from a deck that has nothing to do with nothing that we're talking about and look what i pull cooperation instead of competition okay this is um a deck that focuses on more money but now this card is about relationships right because this whole reading is about how we're relating to other people and about how maybe things people say or whatever they make us feel like ah, uh, uh, but it's like calm down maybe you're interpreting things in a little bit of a burdensome way maybe it's your perspective maybe you need to change the way that you're looking at things maybe you're feeling very emotional because you're carrying on emotional baggage from the past that you've been needing to release cooperations at a competition means don't look at people like they are your competition look at them like they are your brother your sister okay that vow that humanity okay this says what is yours is yours and no one can take it from you so don't feel also like like someone is going to do that like you're stuck doing something because if you don't do it someone's gonna do it okay there's no need to compete there's an abundance for all so don't look at someone as your enemy look at them all as your friends okay because it's, it's, even if they're not your friends they don't have to be your enemy okay they don't have to be your enemy no one is your competition because no one can be you you already winning because no one can be you you get me boo okay so this thing with cooperative partnerships you can accomplish anything okay holler back team work now i need y'all 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 to ask a question ask a motherfucking question right now okay we're gonna go in the book of answers book of answers book of answers Others will depend on your choices. Other and this whole reading was about other people, okay, and partnerships and how we relate to people, right? Others will depend on your choices. So remember that we do nothing alone. Everything has an effect, an impact. Okay. Now I swear to God, because I like to put animal cards every single day. <laughs> I'm like, let me still put an animal card, okay? Tell me why people pulling this card every fucking day. Like I'm sick and tired of it, okay? <laughs> And part of the card's medicine is to stop being sick and tired of it, okay? This says, stop complaining. I think y'all need to hear this. I need to tweet this. I need to put this on a freaking billboard, okay? Stop complaining um, and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. You hire me? Focus on the blessings. What you focus on grows, my love. Focus on the blessings. That's why you need to celebrate. That's why you need to go, um go out try to have a little fun and laugh don't take shit too seriously we also have unicorn this is saying to indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression that's going to help you with emotional release and then we also have camel trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you okay my love that means you're resilient my love and you're worth it but you don't do nothing alone, my love, okay? So remember that dynamic partnership, cooperation to the competition. My loves, if this reading mess, uh, resonated with you, please comment, please, re please, please, please comment. You know, them comments get me, get me through the day, okay? And you can also tip, I really appreciate the tip, okay? Even one coffee, yo, every coffee matters. I'm telling you, fam, okay? That's the link in the bio. And if you would like to book a reading with me, get your protection pack, go to Big Empress Energy, LLC. Cool. Sending you guys so much love and blessings. Bye.